Greetings people of YouTube. I am Crazy Samurai 71 here bringing you our first episode of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles review series. For starters, I'd like to go over my formatting for how I will be doing this review. For starters, I plan on on giving a basic summary of the episode as well as following up with um, going over specific scenes, giving my opinions about them, and then possibly going into, into characters as need be and talking about them specifically. I, I, I plan on also adding in fun facts and important facts that maybe will give people who are less familiar with the show a good sense of what Teenage Mutant, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is all about. Anything else? I will... Um, will come up at, um, as the episodes happen, and you know what? Just have fun, enjoy, let's start. So, episode one of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was, was called Turtle Tracks. Turtle Tracks came out in 1987 when the show did. The show, um, the original show was meant to only last four episodes, but due to its popularity, it managed to expand even further and, and release even more episodes. Surprising? Well, let's see. So, the episode starts off with... Um, the episode starts off with... People... Um, people on... On, uh, on the local news being, in dis being worried about, about the recent um, robberies around town. Not not knowing who could could have caused this, they immediately assume, based off of uh, of evidence given by certain people in the town, that apparently ninjas have come into their town and have been causing these robberies. Because at that time, it seems like ninja, like people from Japan are the only people that would do such a thing. Now, to further this. Um, we then, we then get to see our, one of our main, um, our main characters during that, during, within that scene. Who is this character? Why, it's April O'Neil. April O'Neil, um, is, is this character that everyone, that plenty of people have, have affection towards, love her. I think she's a great character, too. She's very interesting. Um, personally... I'm not the biggest of fans of her in the original cartoon, but she warm, but she's a character for me that I warmed up to over time, and I think that in the original she probably plays the the her character value is probably the weakest. Just my opinion. Now, to explain, um, now following this, we are see, um, we get to see a scene where. April is being attacked by some of the um, some of the local um, gangster like people uh, uh, gangster like thieves and robbers that uh, that are in the town and and they decide to uh, attack her. What ends up happening is she ends up trying to hide in the sewer. Most of the the robbers decide to basically just be stupid and go running in the wrong direction. But she decide, but two of them decide to go down to the sewer. While while there, they are each beat up by four mysterious shadows. Hint hint. I wonder who that could be. Seconds later, after each of them ha um, have fallen to the ground and have fainted, um, April question. Uh, April says the question of "Who are you?" Basically asking who. Basically wondering who are these these figures, and suddenly we are the the, the characters are revealed. Leonardo, Raphael, Michelangelo, and Donatello. The moment she sees them. She doesn't know what to say. She's freaked out, and when she hears them speak, that ba that basically leads to her fainting. Of course, seems to be a common thing with most te Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles shows. And could you blame her? Could you blame her? I mean, come on. These are 
talking, walking turtles. Yeah, and they fight crime. I mean, the whole concept behind that just sounds a bit far-fetched, and I mean, that was kind of what they were going for. So, I mean, could you blame her? I mean, I couldn't. I mean, I, I think that's reasonable. So, anyway, she passes out. Eventually, um, eventually the, uh, the turtles bring her back to their lair, where she eventually wakes up. They try to, um, but... She doesn't wake up to the turtles. In this case, she wakes up to Splinter, who, who by far is probably my favorite character in the, uh, in the original cartoon easily. If not, maybe another character that I haven't gotten to yet. I don't want to spoil anything yet. Anyway, Splinter is the rat. Anyway, Splinter is being a rat um, when, when he ends up speaking to April, she immediately passes out, not realizing, oh, God, there's more than, there's more than four of, the, of these human-like, like, animal figures. What is going on? So, at that moment, she passes out, and I believe it was Donatelle who decides, you know what, I'm going to wake her up now. And so, what happens is, from there... Um, she is, um, she is woken up, and she, and, um, Splinter explains their life story. The idea behind the life story is such a hard thing to, to talk about, because, like, because every single season is, because every single, not season, but series is different, though, most of them have connections to one another. It's true in the movies that there's always a change. It's true in the TV shows that there's always a change. Every single series, pretty much, has a different story. Every single movie has a different story. And some of them are connected better to other ones. Some of them connect more to the comic book stories that, they, that they've had. The only one that I, I personally know, and don't blame me, I'm not... A, I, I would love to, to read a lot more of the comics, but I haven't gotten much into a lot of them yet. Um, personally, I've watched plenty of, of the shows and I've watched all the movies, but I, I, I only know about the intro for the original and I know that, that the original comic um, was also different from all the other ones, but um, the original one does reflect a lot of what... Um, the movie, the first movie reflected, but let's not even talk about that. The origin story starts off with, um, with Humato Yoshi, aka Splinter, um, being in Japan. He, um, he had been working, uh, working with, um, he had been in, in a Japanese, um, um, ninja school where he where um, a daimyo was there to uh, meet uh, meet with them and um, evaluate them. While there, um, while there, um, his name Oroku Saki, which is the name of another character that we haven't really gotten much into um, decides to play a little trick on Hamato Yoshi. He decides to, while the daimyo is there, put a um, stick a uh, samurai saber into his shirt, causing him to be stuck in a, in a fixed position. When the daimyo comes comes um, past them, everyone bows but him because he because that the the samurai sword is there. Because of this, the the daimyo considers this disrespectful, and suddenly, Hamato Yoshi grabs the the, the, the saber out. When doing so, he he grabs it out and puts it in front of himself, figuring out to see what it was. Because he put it out in front of his face it looked like he was ready to kill the Damio. At that moment, they decided to throw him out, and they sent him to the, the sh and they sent him away. 
he decided to hide underground in New York. Then, one day, four baby turtles were, were carried in a glass bowl uh, through the New York streets. Um, moments into, into the, um, they were, be, they were being carried, um, in a glass bowl by, by a small boy. Now, the small boy, um, We just um, ended up dropping them, and they fell directly into the grates. Where where were these grates? Well, what do you know? The grates ended up leading directly to where Hama Hamato Yoshi was. These turtles were 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 days later uh, exposed. Um, these turtles days later were exposed to some ooze that were that was dropped by a TCRI canister that fell from the sewer grates, and in the process of them being exposed to it, uh, Hamato Yoshi himself reached in and grabbed the turtles to sit, to to hopefully get them away from it, but due to the fact that he grabbed them, he also got infected by the ooze. Because he got infected by the ooze, what ended up happening was, and this occurs for the turtles too, they ended up um, becoming mutated into what they had most recently been in contact the, the, the being um, that they had most recently been in contact with, Hamato Yoshi being... Uh, being the turtle, uh, no, uh, Hamato Yoshi being, um, <laughs> Hamato Yoshi being rats, while, um, the turtles had been most recent contact with, you never guessed it, Hamato Yoshi. So, from there, they end up being trained, they end up starting to walk, they end up starting to talk, it's a big deal. He begins to train them, and he decides, and, and he finds a random book. This book, it has a bunch of Renaissance painters' names in it. And he gives them their names. Leonardo, Donatello, Michelangelo, and Raphael. And the story goes from there. We, uh, um, as previously mentioned, this is modern time. This is modern time in their sense. So... So they're now like 16 years older. I'm I'm not sure if that's true in the original, but I'm just saying it is. Even because like they, they, in the in the newer cartoon, the newest one, they refer to them as like 16 or 17 years old, which is like that makes sense. That, that they look tall enough in some cases to be that old. Um, I believe in most shows they refer to them as like 16 years old or so, uh, give or take. So anyway. Um, the uh the, the turtles are uh, met by um um anyway what ends up happening is is that uh April is is astonished by this and we are see and um we go to a scene later on with the turtles coming out of the sewers for the first time and, um because at the time Splinter was against them ever doing so when Splint, um, when Splinter allowed them out, they were immediately seen by a granny. This scene is probably one of the most hysterical scenes ever because the moment they come out, they see this old, one. They see the the old lady, the lady who who has like a walker. She suddenly pulls out a gun from her purse. Yes, a gun, and it doesn't even look like a regular, like you know, like a pistol. I mean, even that would be insane. But no, she grabs that like something that looks like a laser, a laser gun, like something that's just massive and insane. It looks like something from the future. And you look at this thing, and you're just thinking to yourself, really, really, you thought that this made sense? Cool. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I mean, I guess. So, as you may have guessed, April, when she brought them out and she saw that this happened, I mean, they obviously ran, but she realized then, um, we need to figure out a way to disguise you guys, because mm, that just happened. Yeah. And because that just happened, 
she decides to give them trench coats with black shades. This next scene ends up being a scene involving the turtles going into a um, into a ninja pizza parlor, which is probably one of the dumbest sounding things ever, but you know what? At this time, it makes a hell of a lot of sense. Anyway... Anyway, what happened was is that while there, they end up eating their classic crazy pizzas. And as everyone knows, what do turtles, what do te what do the teenage mutant ninja turtles love? Pizza, and not just your typical plain or pepperoni. No, they like the the vanilla ice cream and the and the whipped cream and and all sorts of crazy stuff on their pizza. I mean, they're they're just something else. Uh, I don't know. I mean, sounds cool. It's the turtles. What do you expect? I mean, they're awesome. Regardless. Regardless, um, this is followed up by, um, her, by April going, um, going to, um, the t uh, going to a certain building in, in the town and I'm uh, ca calling for the turtles. Um, the turtles in the process, um, climb up this building where they end up seeing a man in a mask. At this time... They don't know who he is. We know who he is, but they don't know. We know who he is. Yeah, we know who he is. Who do you think he is? Don't know right now. I I I don't, I don't want to say it right now, but we know who he is. So this mysterious man, uh, <coughs> um, um, poses a question to them and. The man says, who are these figures? And he, he questions who they are because he, he recognizes them. And he knows someone familiar to him. He mentions Hamato Yoshi. Hmm. Hamato Yoshi. Could this man be who, who, who we all know? Who, who many of us, but not all of us, know? Could it be... Rokusaki? Well, yes, it is. It is. So, I'm just going to say this now because it's easier. I'm not going to go over Rako Saki for now. Okay. So, Saki himself um, decides to um, to overfill the building with water. At that moment, the turtles see the water and they decide to, um, to start climbing the steps. Of course, not only do they start climbing the steps, but... A classic, but the first time we hear Cowabunga is said by Michelangelo. And just great. So, anyway, he ends up surfing. And you may be guessing, okay, how did that happen? Well, he ends up surfing on. Uh, he ends up surfing on the, on the water using like. Uh, a box of some sort, but I, I don't remember specifically what it was. But he ends up surfing. When um, once up the stairs, they end up jumping off to another building because that because a few moments later the building gets destroyed because the water overflows and basically it just collapses to the ground. I mean, I don't know. This is their idea of logic to just fill up a building all the way. Anyway, um. So the the turtles end up getting into a fight with some robe, with, with some ninja-like figures in purple masks that have a foot on their head. P people. Um, so what ends up happening then is they end up trying to beat them up. They realize seconds later they're robots. Yeah, they're robots. So what ends up happening is the turtles. Defeat them, <clears throat> and we are left with with the question of what's going to happen next. So, we've discussed a lot of the scenes. We've given a, I've given a few opinions. Let me tell you a few other things here and there. So, overall, this episode is a pretty good episode. Um, 
I think it's I think it does the job of explain of explaining things pretty well in the given time they had to create one episode, and you know what, it's pretty enjoyable because it's a first for a lot of things for the show. I mean, as I said before, Cowabunga was said for the first time. We get to see our turtles for, uh, for, uh, for the first time. We get to see the origin story for the first time. I mean, that's very good. We get to see, um, um, we get to see Splinter for the first time. We get to see, uh, um, we get to see Saki for the first time. I mean, yay. All this was very important, and, and oh yeah, what am I? I'm forgetting someone who's very important. Another person, um, April. Yeah, I mean, she's great too. I there's other characters that I, I didn't really want to mention because during this episode they were very minor. If anything, I could say that there was p p characters like Mister, like Vernon, who was this character, who's this snobbish character who has this um this hate th this hate full relationship with April where basically she, he wants to be number one over her and that just causes a mess um personally I'll say this episode was very good um and my and my last thoughts in this episode were this episode easily deserves a 8 out of 10 for nostalgia, a 7 out of, a, um, a 9 out of 10 for enjoy, a 10 out of 10 for enjoyment, I mean, actually, you know what, I'm not going to say an 8 out of 10, you know what I'm going to say? I have to say it, I have to say it's easily a 10, because you know what, it's the first, it has, it has to be a 10, I love it. It's the original episode, and I never have problems with, with with the early with a lot of the early early episodes. So, anyway, this episode for me is great. I mean, there's not much to say about it. There were I'm sure there are problems with it overall here and there, but you know, it's the turtles. It's where they started from. As I mentioned before, there were some pretty crazy scenes in it that that obviously should have been done differently but you know what it, it was how it was made and you know what do we watch it today we do and we love it and it's great so i hope to i hope to see you guys next time in our next episode of teenage mutant ninja turtles episode uh, episode two review goodbye and leave your comments down in in the bottom and subscribe thank you and good night